call Sue Kedgley. Thank you, Mr Chair. Well, um, the, the former um, chair asked us to uh, be very focused um, in our comments on this part, and it is extremely easy to be focused on, uh, the, on part two, because this is the heart of the bill. This is where the coup d'etat takes place. This is called the replacement of the governing body of ECAN. This is where we strip the 14 democratically elected councillors of their powers. As a previous uh, member has pointed out, it would be an illegal act to do this uh, because there is no statutory basis uh, for doing so. So this bill is um, this bill is making legal what would be uh, an illegal act, namely uh, replacing the 14 democratically elected uh, councillors uh, of Canterbury. And um, some of my national colleagues are talking, are saying rubbish, but that is the truth. The minister acknowledged yesterday in a briefing to opposition members that there was no statutory basis to get rid of these 14 democratically elected councillors and so he was having to use this bill to do it. Now, one of the, the, and the other extraordinary thing in this section, in this section it gives the commissioners, uh, these, these newly, these politically appointed commissioners who will be there to implement the will uh, of, the, uh, of the minister, he gives them powers that the uh, democratically elected councillors have been begging for for years. But what is also extremely interesting in this section is that the terms of reference for the commissioners is not in this bill. Now, this is the critical thing. What are their terms of reference going to be? What are they going to be up to? But he, this is not spelled out. It is just left to the minister after the bill has been rammed through Parliament to decide on the terms of reference. Because the reason for this is he doesn't want us to know or the people of Canterbury to know ahead of time what the terms of reference will be. Now, my prediction, because this really, as Forrest and Bird have said, this is a bill to fast-track dams in Canterbury. This is what it is all about. Uh, and so I predict that one of the terms of reference will be to facilitate the building of dams in Canterbury. This is, this is the sort of terms of reference. I mean, by, by giving terms of reference such as this, um, he will, the, the two ministers will, uh, ba basically be able to implement their agenda, make it absolutely clear that the purpose of this uh, bill and replacing the democratically elected councillors with commissioners is to ram through uh, the building of dams and uh, basically what we the, the problem that the that the, the, the councillors were sacked basically because uh, they were getting in the way of agribusiness and irrigation companies. Uh, those, they were annoyed uh, because the ECAN was getting in the way. It was stopping some of the big water projects. And so, just as Baini Marama found that democracy was an obstacle uh, to the implementation of his plans in Fiji, uh, so uh, this government has found that the democratically elected uh, councillors were an obstacle in the way of implementing their plans Plans, their irrigation plans, and so they've abol abolished a democracy in Canterbury. Now, um, and of course, the other thing is that at any time the minister may amend the terms of reference for the commissioners. So at any time, at any time, uh, with no, uh, concert, no reference to democracy to this parliament, they can just uh, change the terms of reference to, this, uh, to, the, to the commissioners. Uh, and of course, if the commissioners don't, uh, don't do exactly their bidding, they can be got rid of under terms in this part of the bill. They can just be uh, dispensed with uh, if they, for any reason, don't completely implement the minister's uh, uh, agenda here. Now, um, the minister accused us all of being hysterical uh, in his earlier intervention. This is the government's favourite word. Opposition members were hysterical over the mining, we're hysterical over this bill, we're hysterical. Everything that we do, um, and, and, and you know, everyone in New Zealand is hysterical. Actually, we're not hysterical, we're simply angry. But did he really expect us to sit 
politely by and yawn, you know, oh, well, never mind, we're just getting rid of another layer of democracy in New Zealand. <laughs> never mind. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, I only wish to make a